I would like to go over two very important DOM methods, create element and create text node. These are not covered in the book, however they are used a lot in the industry should you be strictly using the document object model. We have already looked at um, firstchild.node value. So on the left hand side I have my code, on the right hand side I have the browser. Here I have in the body a paragraph, id equals dom, and that's my placeholder. Here in my JavaScript, in the onload section, which is where my page references go, I am referencing that object and I'm storing that object reference in this variable dom sample. All right, now supposing I wanted to output hello world to the page and make it bold. If I were to say um, dom sample dot first child dot node value equals now we can do this with inner HTML and we can use text with first child dot node value. But if I were to save this and try to reload my page, look what happens on the right hand side. We are the, the browser is literally interpreting those bold tags. That is because this is the bold tag is one element and the text node is another element, which is why the DOM is relatively difficult to use. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to actually create two nodes. We need to create an element node and a text node and we need to append them to our object on the sample. Alright, so let's create our first node and I'll just call it var b. It's going to be a b element equals here we are document dot create element and that's a b element. It knows it's a tag and it will put the ending tag in the appropriate location. Now let's create a text node. Okay, this is the create element method and this is the name of the element we're creating. This is the create text node method and this is the text node that we are creating. Now we need to append them. So I have dom sample dot append child. The first child I'm appending is my b and I can technically just string along another append child method and then append my text node. So if I were to save this and reload my page, there you see we have our hello world. Now if I were to look at the view source, all I would see is the um, source code. But if I were to hit F12, and this is Firefox, and I do have the Firebug add-on here, and I were to look at my rendered HTML, you can see that indeed I am creating a B and the word hello world inside my placeholder. Whenever you're outputting, generating code and content, I always pre recommend to do this. Alright, so that being said, let me just get rid of all this and now let's talk about looping through the array. Alright, at the top of my page here, there is my array. Now remember the array does not need to be in the onload section because it is just going to be stored in memory until we use it. The onload section is for references inside the body tag. Alright, so here is our placeholder. Here we have our object reference stored in our variable. We will use the same variable DOM sample and here is our array. Alright, so the first thing we need to do 
we're looping through our array, we want to create a text node. So here's var. And this text node is going to come from our array. Okay, we all in our loop, we know that my array i will return the first time around it will return array index 0, which is missy. The second time around it will return array index 1, etc. So every time we loop we want to create, we will be creating a text node. Remember, we're inside a loop and we're going to be creating text nodes on every iteration of this loop. Now, we, we need a break between these. So we will create our element, our break element. And now we need to append them. So what we will be doing is we will be appending the text child and appending the element. However, they need to be appended on separate lines rather than chained. And on the right-hand side, you can see my array.